Greetings friends, Steven here, and welcome to episode 9 now of uh, Gamer Hall, my very own video game pickup series for YouTube. Uh, so I've got a bunch of Nintendo games and one new PS3 game to take a look at, so let's get going. Alright, so I've got, first of all, what have we got here? Six games in total. Now, I found these on, from an online ad from a bunch of... Uh, games that this one guy had. He was just pretty much getting rid of his collection. And uh, yeah, I guess I got there first because I got uh, what I believe are some pretty good games. Uh, these were all five dollars each. So let's uh, take a look here. We start with uh, Tailspin from Capcom. This uh, could be a bit of a problem, but uh, it shouldn't be a problem to uh, replace this back case if I need to if these don't come out on their own. I'm concerned about this sticker here. This one looks like it might be trouble. These are uh, hardcore, uh, old-school uh, video store stickers. And unfortunately, the Tailspin sticker itself is a bit... Uh, yeah. But, you know, I don't have it, so uh, I didn't have the game yet. And I do now, so you know what I'll do until uh, I find a better condition one. It's a good start. Next up, uh, Eight Eyes by Taxan, apparently. Zoom in a bit more. Taxan Consumer Division from Japan, Eight Eyes. Eh, I know uh, next to nothing about this game. It looks pretty cool. Kind of gives me a Faxandu sort of vibe, maybe Zelda 2 sort of game. I think it's one of those, like a side scrolling uh, sword sort of thing. We'll, we'll see. Let's lay those down there by the question mark block. Next up, Power Blade. So apparently this is a pretty good game. I've never played it, but uh, I've looked, uh, looked it up on uh, YouTube here, and uh, yeah, people seem to really like it. Power Blade by Taito. Taito. Should be worth trying out. Uh, I think it's sort of like a Mega Man sort of game, but uh, yeah, kind of gives me um, almost like a Duke Nukem vibe. This dude here with his glasses and uh, hair, not unlike my own actually. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll figure that out. Alright, next up, this uh, I found uh, to be pretty interesting. I never knew that there was a Nintendo game based around the Twin B games that was actually released in North America, but it's uh, Stinger by Konami. It's also known as Twin B in, um, I guess, Japan. And there's also, on the uh, 3DS, there's a, a Twin B 3D Classics. But what we have here is actually, um, originally the games are... You know, it's like a, yeah, I guess, uh, a vertical shooter, but this one is like Gradius in that it is a, a horizontal shooter. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, 149. Uh, now, these, like I said before, if I didn't, I think I said uh, these uh, six games I'm going through here, I got each for $5. So uh, just an FYI there. Next up, The Rocketeur. Once again, featuring a. Uh, Kind of crappy sticker, but uh, as I understand, this game is somewhat rare as it came out uh, late in the NES's lifespan. So yeah, here it is. I will give that a go. This was done by Bandai. And finally, Worm Journey to the Center of the Earth by Asmic. In pretty good condition. I always thought this was a Capcom game. I don't know, just the, the graphics. Kind of... Kind of looks like Bucky O'Hare, actually, if you've seen that game before. Hmm. Anyway. Well, there you go. Six games. From, uh, a deal I got from an online ad, so that was pretty cool. Alright. Um, oh, next up. I've got a uh, PS3 game I picked up from uh, Walmart for about... Ooh, after tax, maybe $67 or so. Far Cry 3. You know it, you love it. I've heard nothing but good things about this game, so I was keen to try it. But uh, for uh, if you get it at Walmart here, as you can see, it actually comes with a second game. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six of Vegas 2. So I basically got two games for the price of one. So, yeah, not a bad deal. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm still trying to get my way through uh, Dead Island. So, you know, one game at a time. But yeah, very cool deal. So if uh, you're looking to get Far Cry 3 and you don't care about the special edition, which would have, I think, that monkey DLC, whatever, you might want to give this one a shot because it's the same price, but you get a second game. Very cool. Alrighty. 
Next up, I forgot to mention this at the start, was something very cool I got in the mail um, from, I guess, the 2011 Club Nintendo Platinum Club. We got Nintendo Platinum playing cards. Very cool. I haven't even opened these yet. Let's take a look, though. Ooh, looks platinum-y. Hmm, cool. Wow, they're very shiny. Looks like, yeah. Guess we'll just take a quick look through these. Are these see-through? Oh, funky. Very thin cards, but uh, you get the idea. Princess and Mario and all of that. Yeah, these feel extremely flimsy. But, uh, ah, no, they're all out of order. That's okay. But yeah, pretty cool nonetheless. Here's the Bowser card I was looking for. Joker card. Yeah. So, that's cool. Alright, got uh, four items left for you. Uh, I went to one of my local used game dealers uh, today and I got a couple cheap games. Uh, we got uh, Supercars by Electrobrain. I don't know anything about this game. Normally I wouldn't buy a game like this, but I just like it because it's got the uh, 300ZX from the 90s on the cover there. And yeah, I thought that might be cool. And with that, I got uh, Super Mario Brothers just on its own. I wasn't sure if I actually had just Mario Brothers. I know I have a Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, and Track Me or something like that, but I don't think I had just Mario. I got both of these for five bucks. I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Also interesting to note is that this is one of those five screw games. One, two, three, four, five. And it doesn't have the, uh, the little clips on the top here. It's just uh, flush. As opposed to like the more traditional three screw. There you go. So, yeah, thought that was kind of neat. Uh, I think you can open this with just a regular uh, flathead screwdriver. As opposed to these where you need to get that extra screw bit piece that I bought uh, and showed in one of my earlier episodes. Hmm. Alright. And actually, I went to that store later on that very same day, which was actually their two day, and I grabbed a couple more games because they had them on sale. We got uh, Air Fortress by Hal, which I believe are the dudes that made uh, the Kirby games. Look this up uh, very briefly. It looks like a pretty decent game. Air Fortress, pretty lame title, kind of boring picture, but hopefully the game will uh, make up for that. And Deja Vu by Kemko Seika. Looks like it's got a battery backup in there. Couple of more fun games to add to the collection, and finally, along with these two, which uh, like I said, I got these. Uh, these are all two for one, basically. So these were ten bucks, and added to that, I got some uh, extra instruction booklets. So for the game I just showed you, Worm, got a book for that. I might as well take a quick look through it. Cool to note that the book is in color. to have anime graphics. Cute. Get the Zixies. Um, pretty sure I have this book already, but you know, it was part of a little uh, bundle we got a deal on, so threw that in there. I know I've got it, uh, two copies of this game, so I guess if I resold one of them, I could add the book to the uh, sale. Twin Cobra book. I'm pretty sure this game wouldn't need a book, but whatever. Threw it in. Cute. Double Dragon. You know what you love it. One of the best series on the original Nintendo. Williams. Linda. You'd catch that reference if you've played Double Dragon Neon. And if you haven't played Double Dragon Neon, by God, play Double Dragon Neon. It's a brilliant game. I've got Circus Caper. This is a game I bought for my trip to Vancouver recently. Now I got the book for it. Add to that. We got a Street Fighter. The Final Fight 2010. Capcom book. Pretty straightforward game. Finally, with the classic ice hockey. 
One of the best hockey games ever made, in my opinion. Okay. Alright, well that's it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I want to say. Have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys soon. Uh, I might be doing some new videos based on my collection. We've been looking at uh, pickups, new items I've been adding to the collection, but I haven't actually shown anything of my collections, so uh, stay tuned for that. I might be doing a Nintendo 64 collection video next because um, I was talking with a friend of mine and we were looking at uh, doing a trade and he was keen to see what N64 games I had, so I said might as well just make a whole video of it. And uh, if there's anything else you want to see of my collection or whatever games, whatever, let me know in the comments and uh, I'm sure I'll be happy to oblige. Otherwise, uh, like I said, thanks for watching and uh, check out the other videos on this channel and have a good night. See ya.